So, have you ever wanted to have a light come on when your fog timer turned on your fog machine? Well, here's a solution that might and may help. All you're going to need is your regular fog timer, a fog machine, preferably a cheap one that's under 1000 watts. a fuse tester and an 8 inch adapter cord which you can buy at Walmart there's three to a pack it's like seven dollars I believe but that's here in California and it's pretty simple how you do this but let me run you through it so what you're going to need to do is take your adapter cord cut this side off Strip down the wiring, and then take the cord that comes off the fog machine, take a chunk out of it, just splice it, don't cut the wires though, that's the one thing you don't want to do, so be very careful. Leave the green wire perfectly intact. Do not splice it at all. Do not get rid of any of the rubber at all. Or the plastic coating, sorry. Take the white wire and strip about half inch off. Take the black wire, strip about a half inch off on both sides. Well, actually, I prefer one on one side and one on the other side, so you got less of a chance of an electrical short. Now, you'll see on this, make sure to find the polarity. That is huge. I marked it with some blue ink for the negative. The negative side is always going to be the much larger side. So that's the left side. Hook the negative side to the black wire. Hook the positive side, which is usually the much smaller prong, to the white wire. Most of the plugs that go into a fog machine, if you look in the very top where it plugs in and look inside, you'll see letters either above or below the prong. The middle top is E, which is the green, also the ground. That is what you do not want to touch at all when you're stripping the wiring. The one on the left, the bottom left, is called L, or at least that's what's on this one. And that is the black. That's the negative going out and hooks up to here. Then in the bottom right corner, you have N. That is one of the prongs that you're really going to need. N is the white, right in the center here. And it's the positive. And that hooks up right here too. Positive end on this. To test all the connections, you use a fuse tester to check regular car fuses. It's very cheap. You can get it in a pack with fuses. What you're going to do is touch each side or clip it on to each of the stripped and exposed wire. If the light lights up, you hooked it up wrong and do not use it. If the light does not come on, you might have done it right. Seeing as there are three different cords, what you want is, let me hook this up here for you, hook one wire to your center, also known as E. Hook your next wire up to N on the right. Make sure that it's not on. 
Now, when you press, press the bypass or manual button, the light should come on. And you can set it for the timer too, and the power. When plugged in, these will light up, no problem. And always check that right after you're done connecting all the wires. If it doesn't light up, you might have cut one of the wires. And you're probably going to have to buy a new timer. I've already done that once, so it's not that fun when that happens. Now when you splice this connection cord, when you cut it the first time, you don't have to worry about the green wire at all. It's not used. It's preferred that you use it, but to be honest, you don't really need it. You could hook it up to the ground here, but if you did, it would stay on 24-7 while your fog machine ran. If that was your goal, I don't suggest it. Just use an adapter that splits it into about three or four outlets. Very cheap to buy. Don't do it yourself, unless you're an electrician. Then, who cares? Okay, now that you're done, you should have a timer that sets up with your lights and your fog machine in sync. So, if you set your duration for about 0.5 seconds and your interval for about 10 seconds, you can have a red light or some kind of light. I'm using this specifically for a cannon. I'm going to stick the fog machine be uh, behind some ABS 4 inch pipe or 6 inch, I'm not sure yet. Probably going to go with 4 inch. And I'm going to have a red light on the inside plugged into this because it's 120 volt AC. So that when this turns on, the light will turn on with the fog at the exact same time and turn off at the exact same time for how long you set it or whatever time period between. Always check your connections. Thank you, I hope this helped. Any questions, just leave a comment. Thank you.